Hey, what's up? Welcome back, everybody. It is your boy Liam's Ghost, aka Liam Vapes, and today I got a brand new review for you. Now, a lot of people have been telling me to make this video for I'm talking like months and months on end, and I have not got a chance to make it just because they're not available in my country. And that device is the Enjoy Ace. I'm super excited to try it. Like, I'm not kidding you when I say a lot of people have requested it. I probably get a message every single day. Why haven't you reviewed the Android Ace yet? Why haven't you reviewed the Android Ace yet? Right when I got to America, I knew I had to find one of these things. It took me like, I think five or six different tries where I asked everybody where I could find one. And a bunch of people told me that I could find them anywhere and just go to any gas station. So I went to like four or five different gas stations, couldn't find them anywhere. And then I actually went to a Walgreens. And the funny thing is, is I called this Walgreens before and I asked them if they carried it and they said no. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna check anyways. But boom, I found it. Without further ado, let's get right into this review. So here's the device right here. Boom, in the package, let's take this out. Pretty slick looking, honestly. I wanted to wait actually to try it for the review. So I've never tried this device, keep that in mind. I have no idea what it hits like, what it, anything really about it. But what I do know, is that I really fucked up on the pods I got. I got the watermelon twist and a lot of people told me that I should have got the blueberry, but apparently they're the second best, so I can't really complain. And I'm really excited to try it and see what all the hype is about. So let's crack open these pods right now and just get right into this fucking review. As you can see, we got the full pack here. Here's what the pods look like. Pop one open. Now this is a 1.9 milliliter pod. They say it roughly lasts around 325 puffs. So let's see if that actually holds too. I bet you it probably doesn't with the kind of puffs I take. It's a micro USB charger on the bottom. Apparently they can last up to 24 hours. That's what it says on the website. I couldn't actually find um, any information on the, the milliamps of it so if anyone could tell me down below how many milliamps this battery is because i really couldn't find any information yeah let's just get right into it so it looks like we got two plastic pieces right here and right here i'm gonna rip those off and it looks like we're good to go now this is just a hit to fire device so i'm just gonna take a pull off of it right away Jesus Christ, that is harsh, harsh. I just got a domer off of one hit. That is fucked up. Round two, let's go, baby. Gee, I, I can see why people like these things. They give you a really strong throat hit. And when I say strong, I mean strong. This reminds me a lot of like a jewel. Like it hits like a jewel would. It remind, this this pod specifically kind of reminds me of um like a fruit pod but it doesn't really have that cough syrupy taste to it but yeah it hits with like the thick kind of harsh hitting cloud like the jewel does but it pulls like a bigger cloud so it's more like it kind of hits like a soaring air that is nice wow let's just let's just take a few more hits off this thing there's a mouth to lung now let's try a straight lung here I can tell you for free that this thing slaps, bro. This thing gives you a fat head rash. I'm kind of like struggling just to breathe right now. Uh, lately, I've actually only been vaping 18 milligrams. I've been trying to cut down the nicotine, but these ones right here, these are 5%, just like the Jewel. And um, a little piece of advice when I was reading up on it is make sure not to charge it uh, with the pod in because apparently that can burn out your pod. I'm not quite sure why that is. A few people have told me that, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. I'm actually out in Hawaii right now, for any of those, those who don't know. I just flew out last night. Uh, this morning I went to the beach, had a nice breakfast, and wow, it is beautiful here. I love America a lot. Hopefully I'll be able to hit up Walgreens here and maybe get some uh, get some of the blueberry pods because I definitely want to give those a try. There is a Walgreens like 15 or 20 minutes away, so I'm probably going to drive out there later today and check it out. I'm definitely going to be sussing this thing for the rest of the trip though because this thing is nice. If I have to be critical about it, it is quite harsh though. You really do get a strong throat hit, and if that's what you're looking for, then this is the perfect device for you. I only paid actually, it was $28.99 for the device, 
unless you signed up to be a Walgreens member. So I did that quickly. I signed up, even though I'm probably never really going to go there again, except for to get more of these pods. With the discount, it was actually only $4.99. I got it in Washington State in Bellingham, and the pods were $9.99. So you're getting... So if it's 325 hits per pod, then you're getting around, what, 650 puffs for $10. That's pretty solid. And for the device only being $5, that is a steal of a deal. I can see why people gravitate towards these because for a pre-filled pod system like it is, it's a great price. It's a great deal. You're really not going to find a battery for any cheaper than that. So I definitely suggest these to somebody that is looking to quit smoking cigarettes because you definitely get that satisf the satisfaction of nicotine. Another way to explain it is that um, when you're hitting like a low nicotine juice, like a three or a six, you're not really going to get that. You're not going to get that nicotine craving that you're looking for when you're on cigarettes, you know. But when you hit this thing, you're not going to want to hit a cigarette. I can tell you that for free because you, I took two or two puffs off this thing and I could feel it right off the bat. And that is a good sign. A lot of people would compare this to the Jewel. A lot of people want to know if it's better than the Jewel. And off my first impressions, I would say that it is just because of the fact that you get a bigger pull off of it and bigger cloud equals bigger domer. The one thing I'd have to say is this is not the greatest flavor, this watermelon twist. You guys were not capping when you said that this flavor kind of sucked. Even though this flavor does kind of taste like shit, it definitely gave me a good feel of what the vape is like and how it hits. I have to say, I love it. Oh, I do not suggest doing French inhales. That burned my nostrils. <laughs> ah, so I actually plan on making another video on the Enjoy, but it's going to be more of just a sesh video. I'm not going to be really reviewing it. Uh, I'm probably going to like put a few clips together of just me vaping it in random spots. I was actually going to make this video outside, but there's way too much background noise. So I decided against it. So if I had to rate this vape out of 10, I would probably give it like a solid seven. I mean, I probably would give it a higher rating if I had the blueberry pods because a lot of people seem to love them, but I haven't tried them yet, so I can't really say. Once I get them, though, and I make my second video on them, I'll really be able to give you guys my full review on it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up. If you guys have any feedback, drop a comment. Let me know what your favorite nicotine devices and what you're vaping on purse. And also, let me know what you think of the Enjoy. Would you cop one? Would you not? Would you pass? I've heard that it only costs 99 cents in some states, so that's pretty awesome, man. If I only had to pay 99 cents for this, I would be buying these all the time. So thank you guys so much for watching once again. Peace.